will be a different kind of procession in Rockford in about two hours this morning. This one to remember letter carrier Jay Larson, the 49 year old was one of four people killed last Wednesday, allegedly, allegedly by 22 year old Christian Soto. Those who worked with Larson at the Rockford Post Office and other postal employees from other offices around the region plan to drive Larson's route starting at 8.30 this morning. Larson's visitation is this evening starting at 4 o'clock at Fitzgerald Funeral Home on South Mulford. Two GoFundMe pages have been set up for four survivors of last week's brutal attacks. One of the pages is benefiting Lindsey Craig. Craig is currently in intensive care and has been in intensive care since last Wednesday. The money donated to that GoFundMe will go toward her medical expenses. A second GoFundMe page has been set up to benefit the family of Darlene Weber, Jacob Woolman, and Kathy Gilfillan. The money will cover bills, living expenses, and lost wages. And take a look at this. Last night's Rockford City Council meeting, five roses on display and two moments of silence for those killed in the tragic stabbings and beatings last week. 18-year-old Jason Jenkins was killed Sunday, March 24th, while working at the Walmart on Northridge. And the victims of last Wednesday's attack were also remembered. Ramona and Jacob Shupback, Jay Larson, and 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb.